Peace. Peace. And welcome to another episode of Chicago, Chicago Detox. Detox. And tonight we're going to be discussing the case of Jesse Smollett. And, uh, you know, he's been charged with a uh, felony for filing a false police report. But they only charged him with uh, disorderly conduct. Okay. I don't yes. know how they get disorderly conduct out of uh, falsifying a police report. That's what I think it's called. But, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it happened a couple weeks ago. Like, we wanted to, you know, touch on it. But it was just, you know, it was a touchy Touch the subject and want to get more subject, details to come real. out. And now that the details are out, the question of the day is, do you believe he's guilty from what you know has come out? And if he is guilty, should he be punished? What What's that punishment? Yeah, I mean, I, I believe in the court of public opinion, as mm -hmm. they call it. People have already, you know, like made him guilty and, you know, pretty much kind of X out from, you know, <laughs> from yeah. all the communities that he was affiliated with. But, you know, like, my main my main thing was the whole issue of the city of Chicago, the actual resources that were, you know, uh, outsourced to, to facilitate all of, you know, this great police work. <laughs> you yes, know what I'm saying? I believe they, like, the they said the total was 24 detectives. 24 detectives, you know. Like, I'm quite sure it was countless man hours, you know, and it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, like all of this stuff for uh, something that was, that was made up, you know, and it's just like, I don't know, that 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 was really, I was just appalled by, by just that, that fact alone, you know, that it's so much stuff going on and they can't, you know, figure figure out you know just all the unsolved murders and yeah, just the unsolved crimes yeah. <clears throat> just just all the stuff that's going on and they basically threw every resource at at this you know and it's you know I'm quite sure it was an unsolved murder like last week <laughs> or the week before or you know the week before that but you know as far as like dealing with punishment I, I mean I see that the 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 police are definitely mad and the superintendent Eddie Eddie Johnson I, I definitely feel him because he was he was japping you know like for real he man he went in but at the end of the day like I don't think he gonna get punished you know he deserve punishment but what is punishment you know what I'm saying like that's some you know Somebody like take him in the back and you know mm -hmm. give him like two to the gut and you know tell him, tell him going about his day you know mm -hmm. that's that's kind of what it is I mean if if the police could have their way with him I think that would be more punishment enough but you know what I'm saying like it's just I don't know like it's it's really something that I I really can't I can't really I gotta let let it all unfold but it don't really add up because it's a bigger you know it's it's a deeper issue you know what i'm saying like you might look at one issue and the reality is it you know it might be deeper than than it looked like from you know beneath the surface or however yes. you're supposed to say that <laughs> i guess <laughs> from from my standpoint i would say um uh, i am appalled that allegedly he used this stunt in order to yeah. promote himself into a better light to get and uh, that's the a bigger thing about his, himself. And, that's and, the whole and, thing. and I think that that's appalling. But if looking at the facts that came out, I would say it doesn't look like he's innocent. Looks like he's very guilty and foolishly guilty. Yeah, and, he uh, does. I, but it's I mean, it, it was bogus. But, you know, like I like I was saying, you know, earlier, like at the end of the day, it's like he's an actor, you know, so he he should have got with one of the, you know, one of like the the writer interns to like you know come up with like a better script to, you know to the story because I don't know it don't really make sense and like I said it's it's some deeper than that like he got some type of mental issues going on and like he said he you know they they said he's like a, a, a like a narcissist and he kind of he's a social path you know what I'm saying wow, kinda, okay. you know they were saying that he's kind of I mean don't quote me but that like they were saying that that's kind of that's kind of where they was like discounting him down to, like you know he really made it all about him, and it's not really about you know mm. the hate crimes and all that, cause that's really 
a bigger and broader issue, you know, the the racism that's going on in America and, you know, the the actual tension that, you know, the, the, the division of all the people, you know what I'm saying? Because people are divided and it's like, you know, just say on one side, because I won't, you know what side I'm on, but I won't say, but just mm-hmm. say one side, you know, who's like, man, you know, like, come on, dude, like, how you gonna do this? And you, then, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like the other side, you know, now they looking, you know, they like, yeah, you mm-hmm. know, we told, you know, and it's just like, come on. So, so now he, what? So <laughs> getting now what? Now getting back to his his punishment, what do you think his punishment should be? Uh, from my standpoint, I think his punishment should just pay restitution, you know, to pay back the man yeah, they, hours. they definitely going to get and that. And community service. I feel like that he would be He should do fair. a lot of community service, but he yeah. should actually... I mean, to be honest, he should actually do it with you know some people that's not like him, like the the peop the people with with MAGA. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like he kind of threw them under the bus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like I say, I ain't you know I ain't really trying to represent, but you you know what it is. But you know, at the end of the day, like you know, he he I guess he definitely has some form of hatred towards MAGA or whatever. So. That should be part of his community service. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got to spend hours campaigning. <laughs> yeah. so. Put him on one of them rallies with uh, your boy, mm-hmm. 45, you know? So it's just like, you know. But, yeah, as far as, like, Cordain trying to hit that, you know, like, he facing, like, one to three, I think. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't going to get that. He going to get, like, probation and slap on the wrist. You so we'll, hear about this. we'll definitely keep, guilty. keep an open an eye on this case. And yeah, like we say, I mean, I really don't even want to shed light on it because, like I said, it's, it's much more, you know, things going on. And like we say with Chicago Detox, we just want to shed, you know, light to certain situations and let you know how we feel about it. Mm-hmm. But like you say, this is really senseless, man. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, so I say, he got a... You know, he got some issues going on. And, you know, like we said on that note, <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in for another episode of Chicago, Chicago Detox. Detox. Peace.